Hey guys, just want to take a quick look at theta here. Now I have drawn a trend line where I think this trend line should be. Um, basically, everything is looking the same pretty much across the board. Whether I look at, at theta or I look at ocean protocol or I look at, you know, another uh, crypto, uh, the structure is almost the same. Uh, if we look at the daily time frame, now uh, there was resistance all through here and then it broke above and then it bounced off the trend line and then it kind of broke through but it found support and now we're starting to get the push up so um, a lot of cryptos are kind of breaking the last few days uh, like we can say right around here for theta about two dollars and nine cents <clears throat> this seems to be you know some resistance basically uh, also with support there um, it was kind of resistance here and four days of resistance here basically um, so yeah now we're getting a push through that I do think that the next level of you know resistance for theta is gonna be around around two dollars fifty one two fifty we can say because um, it was resistance here uh, support here support through here um, so that's the next, you know, level uh, that we need to be looking forward to. And um, after that, uh, let's see, it's probably going to be about here at about 291. Uh, there appears to be a lot of resistance and supports, you know, all through here. Um, so and then after that, you're you're pretty much looking towards the local highs here. So. I would probably draw a line right there at 315. After 315, it's it's pretty much, you know, open skies for theta. Um, now Bitcoin, on the other hand, uh, at the moment it's at 64.8. <clears throat> In the last uh, couple of hours, um, you know, we've seen it shoot up to basically this uh, resistance. And as you can see, it, it was the same resistance over here before we got a pullback. Um, so right now we're seeing a pullback. So we will see if, you know, this goes back down to this, you know, support line basically at 30, uh, not 30, sorry, uh, 63.4. Uh, hopefully not. You know, we just had the Bitcoin having last night. Um, so that is complete, as you can see here. And uh, basically, the next halving is in, you know, almost 1,500 days, basically. Um, now, it's April 17th, 2028. That's what it's projected at the moment. Of course, this will change drastically. Uh, so don't put too much weight on this date. But that's how it looks right now, guys. So uh, basically, yeah, Theta looking better. Uh, still got a lot of work to do. Um, and then Bitcoin, you know, we need to get a little bit of a bounce and a push. Uh, 65.5 is, you know, where we got a breakthrough. I think if we see that break, uh, we're going to see these altcoins really start pumping as well. Um, now, keep in mind, after we break that, there is this trend line that's going up that we also need to break. So we'll see at what point we get there. But, yeah, could be next week, uh, hopefully at least. Uh, I think we will get there, <clears throat> and uh, as long as we don't have any geopolitical situations, you know, in the Middle East or anywhere else, uh, we should be fine. So, uh, but don't expect too much, you know, usually with the having there's a month or two of, you know, sideways action or even a little bit down. So, uh, anyways, guys, that's what I got for you on uh, Theta, basically, and uh you know, if you like this content, like, subscribe, activate the bell, and uh, see you guys in the next one.